Today, we are tackling a topic that stresses out a lot of home sellers. The top five most common fears when selling your home. And more importantly, how to solve them. Now, if you're planning to sell or in the process, this video is for you. I will also go over the solutions to these five common fears and the outcome you can expect when these common fears are taken care of properly. Hi, it is Brooke and Christopher Marr with MMG Real Estate Advisors. And with over 35 years of real estate sales, real estate investing, home renovations, and pretty much anything else real estate related here in Orange County, our videos are the perfect place for anyone looking to buy or sell real estate here in Orange County. With that being said, if you like this video, be sure to hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And now let's jump into the video. Fear number one, pricing the home correctly. Let's start with one of the biggest fears, pricing your home correctly. We've all heard the horror stories. Price it too high and your home just sits there with no offers. Price it too low and you could be leaving thousands of dollars on the table. It's such a delicate balance and that's what makes it stressful for sellers. No one wants their home to sit on the market longer than necessary and no one for sure wants to sell for less than their home is worth. So how do you handle this? The solution is simple but powerful. Work with a knowledgeable real estate agent who can create a solid comparative market analysis or a CMA. A CMA compares your home to other similar properties that have recently sold in your area, giving you a realistic picture of what buyers are willing to pay. It's not about guessing. It's about data and market trends. Your property may also have something special that could enhance its value, or maybe there is something unique about your location. It is important to take all this into account. This way, you'll know your home is priced to attract the right buyers without undercutting yourself. And now, what's the outcome of pricing your home correctly? First off, you'll attract serious buyers, not just people browsing out of curiosity. You're more likely to sell your home closer to the asking price, and it won't sit on the market for months and have to do price cut after price cut. Side note, unfortunately, some agents will sell you on a price they can get you with the full intention to do price cuts down the road. This is not a good strategy, as the longer your home sits on the market and the more price cuts you do, it will lead to potential buyers to think there is something wrong with your home, or they could just offer you less. As you are showing, you are willing to cut the price. Plus, a home that's priced right tends to generate more interest and possibly even multiple offers. And let's be real, when that happens, here in the driver's seats for negotiations, it's a win-win for you as a seller. Fear number two, the condition of the home. The next big worry for home sellers is the condition of their home. Every seller wants their home to look perfect, but let's face it, most homes have some issues. You can even ask Christopher, who's been doing this for over 35 years, even on new constructions home. There has never been a home in his experience that had zero problems come up during a home inspection. Whether it's a leaky faucet, outdated fixtures, missing light switch plate, or even just some clutter, sellers often stress about how buyers will perceive their property. What if the buyer thinks it needs too much work? What if it scares them away? Here's the good news. The solution doesn't have to break the bank. Focus on the small but impactful repairs. Fix things like loose door handles, chipped paint, or any cosmetic issues. You don't need to renovate the entire house. Sometimes just prepping the right things can make all the difference when buyers view your home. If you really want to maximize your home's appeal, consider hiring a professional stager. A stage home can help potential buyers visualize themselves living there, which can make a huge difference in how they connect with the property. It's all about making the home feel welcoming, and move in ready. And now what's the outcome of doing all this? Buyers are more likely to view your home positively because it feels ready to go. When they see fewer problems, they'll be less likely to ask for repair credits or make demands during negotiations. Even better, a well-staged, well-maintained home can lead to higher offers because buyers see more value in it. Essentially, you're removing potential obstacles before they even become a problem. This will only help you in the long run. Now fear number three, time on the market. Now let's talk about the fear of how long your home will stay on the market. This is a huge one for many sellers. You put your house up for sale and every day it doesn't sell. The anxiety creeps in a little more. You start wondering, is there something wrong with my house? Am I asking too much? Are buyers simply just not interested in my home? This is where preparation and strategy really come into play. One of the best things you can do is set realistic expectations with your real estate agent. The solution here is twofold. First, pricing your home correctly, like we talked about earlier. And second, ensuring your agent has a strong marketing plan. Your agent should be leveraging professional photos, online listings, social media, uh, home tour video, and possibly even hosting some open houses. 
In today's digital age, buyers often make decisions based on online listings. So your home needs to make a great first impression. And when you do all this, the outcome with the right price and a solid marketing strategy, your home is more likely to attract interest early on, reducing the time it stays on the market. Homes that sit too long without offers tend to develop a stigma. Buyers might think there's something wrong with the property, but if you're proactive, you'll likely sell within a reasonable time frame, which means less stress and more peace of mind for you. And now fear number four, the negotiation process. Another major fear sellers face is a negotiation process. Once you get an offer, things can get nerve wracking. You start wondering, what if the buyer lowballs me? What if they ask for too many concessions? Should I hold out for a better offer or is this the best offer I'm going to get? It's easy to feel overwhelmed. But here's the thing. Negotiations don't have to be scary if you have a clear strategy in place. The key is going to be setting up clear boundaries up front. Know your bottom line. What's the lowest price and most reasonable terms you're willing to accept? You need to set your lowest net offer you'd be willing to walk away with. Net offer means the sales price minus any concessions or repairs the buyer may ask for. This will give you your net offer. And then trust your real estate agent to do the heavy lifting during negotiations. They are the experts and they can handle the back and forth while keeping your best interests in mind. It's also helpful to remember that negotiating isn't about winning or losing. It's about reaching an agreement that both parties are comfortable with. And now what's the outcome of doing all this? Buyers are more likely to view your home positively because it feels ready to go. When they see fewer problems, they'll be less likely to ask for repair credits or make demands during negotiations. Even better, a well-staged, well-maintained home can lead to higher offers because buyers see more value in it. Essentially, you're removing potential obstacles before they even become a problem. This will only help you in the long run. And lastly, fear number five, passing the home inspection. Last but not least, let's talk about the dreaded home inspection. This is a big one because sellers often fear the inspection will uncover major issues that could derail the entire deal. Will the inspector find something expensive to fix like roof damage or faulty wiring? Does my home have termite damage? What exactly does the home inspector look at? Could this scare my buyer away? The solution is pretty straightforward. Consider getting a pre-listing inspection. Now this might sound like an extra step, but it can actually save you a lot of stress. A pre-listing inspection gives you a clear idea of any problems before the buyer's inspector gets involved. You can fix the major issues up front or adjust your listing price accordingly. This way, when the buyer's inspection happens, there's less chance of surprises that could throw a wrench in the sale. Now, what's the outcome of this strategy? By addressing potential problems early, you're less likely to see the deal fall apart during the inspection phase. Plus, buyers will feel more confident knowing the home has already been inspected and any issues have been taken care of. This leads to a more secure deal and few opportunities for the buyers to try to renegotiate with you. This will help you sell your home. And so there you have it. By addressing these five common fears head on, you can make the home selling process a lot smoother, more predictable, and way less stressful. Whether it's pricing your home right, making the small repairs, or getting ahead of the inspection process, each step helps set you up for success. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more real estate tips. Selling your home doesn't have to be overwhelming. With the right preparation and a strong strategy, you can sell with confidence. Thanks for